That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> Yo, 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 guys, this is Nickride TV, aka Nickride. Um, I'm doing episode two. I'm recording multiple episodes just, uh, to test out, edit stuff. You know, you're going to see in, ep in this episode or the episode before how much it changed. And um, yeah, welcome back to episode two. And we're playing Edith Finch. This will be obvious. What remains of Edith Finch, sorry. My mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Molly. But yeah, welcome uh, a lot of time to the video. Edie's room. I hope you guys enjoy it so far. We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She okay. Have, but she didn't. So he died by a dragon statue that he was building. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, Okay. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh, I see. I know where we are now. I see where we are now. Okay. Okay. It was a pretty big trace. Bit too much ping, though. The key. It opens. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Eddie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Wait, I don't want to go through yet. I don't want to go through it. No, 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 no. I want to explore the room. Oh. Oh, well. Galvin Finch. Born in April 25. 1550? I can't read that. It's too blurry. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Oh, so this is... um. Okay, can I go through it yet? I can. I can. All right. We'll explore the, the room first. That's how we go back there. Because I want to explore more. But every room is sealed, looks like. And I'm very tiny. I'm very short. I see a Mitch uh, DMing me right now. <laughs> Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Aww. Edie had already started to memorialize him. Aww. A lot of uh, death. Museum. The mis the mystery of death and thereafter. Or Odin Finch. I love the name Odin. Because it's a uh, Viking mythology. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. So there's a curse on our family. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. So there's a curse, looks like. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, Step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. So in Orcas Island, okay. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Alright. 
whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. That's a lot of death, so the whole tree is dead, basically. The whole family tree. Can I check through here? I cannot. Okay, I cannot open the door. A lot of books again. Meds? My mom has those, those type of meds. That's funny. That is funny. You had to see that in a video game. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. All right, there's, there's no electricity yet, so we cannot see those videos. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I mean, understandable if you got a whole island for yourself or whatever. Or like the, the prime location, because this location looks amazing for a house and live in. That's for sure. Okay, looks like we've done everything here. Let's go back in there. So, hunting. Okay, okay. Wait, how do I crouch? Oh, it's automatically, okay. Milton. Why would there be booze and a trash can here? Fort Kelvin. <laughs> oh, okay. Odin Finch National Park. And those are the twins. This cave, the detail, the freaking detail. Cobra Battalion, Bravo Company, certificate achievement of uh, present to Samuel Finch for obtaining a hundred twenty percent deport deportment grade in the third quarter of the Dage uh, school year. Okay. So he was like an into the army stuff. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let's not do that yet. There is a lot of detail. Your grandpa Sam had a twin. Okay. And that he never talked about him. To command center and beyond. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. This is cool. They had an amazing family if they built stuff like that for their kids. That's a lot of detail. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh. Okay, I'm getting seasick. He swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Did he die like this? Like going higher and higher and higher? And he flew? But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. No! Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Still be here. I yeah, that's how he died. That's how he died. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh. The day he made up his mind to fly. 
And he did. That's all he died. Oh, that must suck. Oh. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. That's sad. That there's a curse for sure. Oh, that sucks. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Man, that blows. Oh, what's this? So there's secret rooms everywhere. That's kind of cool. That is cool. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, okay. I know where we are. This looks like a dead end. No, it's not a dead end. Right, let's go through here first. But it's just a shortcut, I'm guessing. This is a shortcut. Okay. Milton. Oh, in um, the actress uh, room now, Barbara. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I have one of those. It's right behind me, actually. I'm trying to learn how to play the guitar. That's a tiny This is tiny as room for a star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. I bet. Of all the stories Full people stories. Heard about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. I love it. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. Oh, okay. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the Ooh. emergency room. That's so not good. Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my Good dad question. likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The okay. The is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. 
Right, so the key is in the music box. He reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for it, but the house was silent. This is amazing. Oh, I have to walk as well. Ooh, copyright music, maybe? She found Rick Scratch and imagined the worst. I like the music, though. Infamous hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, it's dark here, I can't see anything. Sacre bleu, la de goats. Oh, let her go. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it. When she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick. Okay, I'm dead. coming up. I love the music. Okay. Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Uh oh. Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. She got murdered. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. So she got murdered. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. He played her part beautifully. She got murdered. Go through the front door. We need to run away from here. But the game does not let me run. Oh, I can't. Okay. He's gone, is it? Yep, he's gone. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing. But all she heard was... This is amazing. The detail. Inside the house. Uh oh. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Oh, you were wonderful. Oh, the monkey 
sometimes, I come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. That was a bit weird of a uh, surprise. What kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. Wait, she got killed by actual monsters? So did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. Oh, he poor kid. Pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her fear. Well, she got that's killed. A real eerie tale. So she got killed by monsters. That's some supernatural stuff. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's gonna be it. Well, we're gonna explore the rest of their room real quick. There's nothing left in the room. Okay, we're going to stop right here, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, a comment, and above all, subscribe to help out Mitch. And see you guys in the next episode, maybe. See ya!